So what's up guys, DJ5 back here today, and today we're back on the dealership roleplay for episode 3, and I was just in my office doing some, you know, paperwork, you know, boring stuff like finances and stuff, and then my salesperson that um, pulls up in the um, in a rental, and I just hear this loud, <laughs> and I look outside, and she pulled up, and she got all the trailers. That I ordered. So we're going to go out there and we're going to start unloading these trailers. I also was just preparing to start recording a video on something new, which is actually over in that corner, which hopefully I'm able to show you guys. I want to pull this over here so we can start, don't show, we can start pulling the trailers, which it's a good thing that she got these trailers now. I told her she could do it tomorrow, but she decided to do it today. That's why I hired her to work. So, uh, we actually need these trailers for one of the, one of the, um, one of the, what am I saying? One of the, the Razor sold. I don't know why it took me so long to say, but the Razor did sell, finally. The old thing sold. It's a 2015, so it took a while to sold. It only sold for, 20, for 15, but with a trailer, that's not too bad. It was like 20, 21, he ended all the tax with the trailer. Uh, not too bad. I mean, it's not the best. It's not a can ham price or a brand new razor price. But we don't have any brand new razors, and nobody wanted to buy can So we're just gonna park these tra the trailer in here for now. Put the ramp down. It's got the automatic ramp, so you know, awesome. Disconnect that. Hold out here. Let's get these other trailers. I want to set the trailers up like right over in that area by that heavy sign. So pull this trailer off. And yeah, guys, I did splurge on two new things. That truck and trailer for picking things up, which I'm not sure we'll keep here. We might go store it somewhere else because it takes up a lot of room. It's kind of ugly. But uh, this is where I'm going to store the trailers. Um, we sold the black one already. I think that was the black one. Already. Yeah, we sold the black one already. And then now we got a, we got like a light green one. And we've also got a light green or like a darker blue one which is always nice you want some colors i'm gonna have to get some more black ones in stock but uh we got the these regular flatbeds they can they can haul i think they can haul the 4c can am and maybe a quad maybe just the 4c can am and then they'll probably get a quad in the back of the truck but that's always a big deal they can always buy a truck from us soon when we start selling them. This trailer backed up. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Stop it. It's kind of hard to back up the trailer. No, I own it. Don't question. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's pull the F 350 over here. Um, we got Jason working on the bug at the moment. He's almost done. We'll probably be able to show you that. Why are my reverse lights still on? Stop being on. We'll probably be able to show you that, guys, this, mm, see, this is why I'm very bad at making YouTube videos. It's kind of hard when I can't speak, but that might be in this video. I'm not sure. Uh, all right, you guys ready for the new purchase? So let me give you a little backstory. The guy that does all my fan finances and tell me if it's a good or bad idea told me I should start doing some, like, uh, old rusty truck repairs. So, and also I just needed something that if I needed to go pick up, like, a Can-Am that was broken. Because we also do repairs or like a truck that was broken. I could use this and not have to pull a trailer. So this is the new purchase for it. purchase is about 40 grand. It's a Dodge Ram 2500. It's got the Hemi in it. It's a four seat. And it's got a rollback on it. So if we start it up. There we go. It's nice. Nice interior. We'll pull it back. It's got lights all around. Pull it back. Roll it fast too. It's a Hemi so it's always good. And then it just goes back nice and Flow inside the cab, which is nice, and then it goes down. There we go. We pull the car up, pull it back down, and then slide it back forward to the cab. And now you're good. So this is our new purchase. I'm gonna put it back because we don't got anything to pull with it yet. But uh, that was the new purchase. Well, yeah, that was the new purchase. That other semi wasn't really mine. I was borrowing it. I like to say I purchased it, but uh, we have to give that back. 
So I'm gonna get this other razor ready, and uh, I will catch you guys in a minute. So guys, we're just pulling the trailer with the razor all cleaned up. We just power washed it. We're just gonna pull it over where it's like the other one earlier today. Which one needs to shut that door? I don't know who left it open for sure with me, but uh, we don't talk about that. We're just gonna pull it over where we parked that other uh, cannon and pork where we're gonna park the pills. Uh, the guy ended up paying, I believe I said like 21 for this whole thing, which wasn't bad. So disconnect and actually it's been a mm, couple hours and uh jason said no it's actually been a probably a day so i had to go deal with some finance issues so i don't know why i said a couple hours but i uh, will head in here and jason's actually got the build done first let's take a look at this he's got the gmc in here he's already started we already had the parts in. We had a bunch of parts in for the GMC. He's got the aftermarket tail lights, which are custom. He's got whited out badges, which he just put on all around the truck. Uh, he's got the whited out headlights, custom whited out grill, whited out white out mirrors. He's he put he I think he's already did the tune or, or he's doing the tune. Um, there's still a lot of stuff to do. Like there's custom bumper. There's the white front bumper. There's new wheels. So that thing's got a little while till it gets a sale, but that should be a good money maker. So you guys remember what the bug looked like before? This is what it looks like now. Holy moly! So my boy, my boy Jason worked extra hard. I even gave him a raise for this. So basically, this was whole his whole idea. I never had anything to do with it. Um. So he first off, he started off with a primer clear coat, nice color. Um. He put he took out the old like small tires and put on these huge ones with a little lift. He's got some nice Baja suspension. He cut out the fenders, cut out the doors. He left the back seat pretty much how it is. Cut out these back fenders. Installed a nice roof rack that step up on the tire. It's got three lights that turn on. It's got a fire extinguisher, an extra tire, and a more space to store some of your other stuff. It's got bigger tires in the back than in the front because that's just how it is. Basically, same interior. Um, back here he put a he tuned the motor and put like some better like cam and rods and stuff. He put a like a pretty big turbo on it. Made this custom exhaust, fully custom. It's got red shocks fully around, uh, just black regular um, like all terrain wheels. And uh, let's just hear this thing start up. Dang, it starts up nice. Probably open the door first. We'll go take this thing for a rip and then we'll uh, put it on the put it out in front. And have it display got a nice manual in it it's only one six liter but that's okay let's go rip it out in the yard we got all this land out here to play with nobody really cares to rip it around so i don't think they care i'm just gonna rip it around for a bit uh it's about 70 not too fast it only hit like 50 before it's got radio still i wish the only thing it would be cool would be made like the custom metal doors so that like it'd be closed in but like see most of it so like the window would go out to here so it'd be closed in so you, nothing would fly out and you could have ac and an off-road vehicle for baja which when change the baja came did i flip that trailer i did um but yeah i do like the uh, baja i can't speak of it i do like the gunmetal gray that he went with i'm actually gonna put this on the plane in front of the dealership it's got three lights you can turn on one if you just need to see a little bit three you can see everything uh, it'd be nice if you made a shield, but I know you want to see the motor, so I'm not going to judge him. We'll leave that there. Let's go shut off this other thing. What? I meant shut the other door. I don't know why I say a thing. What is that? He's drinking on the job. Oh my gosh, he's drinking on the job a lot. Oh no, those are from last night. We were just having some fun chilling. Uh, this is his computer where he orders parts. Um, I'll tell him to clean that up. Oh, basketball. Who, who thinks we should make it? If we make it. If we make it, this video deserves 20 likes. Oh, if if we make it, I get 20 subs. If I make it, I get 20 subs. If I make it, I get 20 subs. Oh, let's go! 20 subs, you guys go me 20 subs. I'm just kidding. But 20 subs would be nice. 
my goal is to get 100 subs before the end of 2021, which is kind of possible, but I'm going to try to get on my grind a bit more. Let's record this episode. Shut this. We gotta pick up some new razors, but uh, that'll be in the next episode. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, we need to shut the gate. Can't have no uh, creeps coming in. Okay, now we can shut the gate. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more banger content like this. Um, episodes almost daily, and uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!